1885, phosphate rock was discovered on the banks of the Peace River, just north of Punta Gorda, Florida. It was this discovery that would turn the south end of Gasparilla Island, now called Boca Grande, into a major deep water port. The Peace River Valley was ravished by phosphate strip mining, mostly by laborers with picks, shovels, and wheelbarrows. They loaded phosphate on barges tugboated them down the Peace River to Boulder Grand. There the phosphate was loaded on the schooners, such as these, bound for worldwide ports of call. By 1905, it was felt that building a railroad to Port Boca Grand and carrying the phosphate dip by rail should improve the method of shipment. The barges had to be unloaded and reloaded back onto the vessels. Rail cars would eliminate this step. In 1905, the Peace River Mining Company, along with engineers and 60 laborers, landed in Boga Grand. The construction of the railroad began. Probably the only buildings on the south end of the island at this time were the lighthouse and the assistant keeper's house, where they still stand today, over 120 years old. The railroad terminus with its 1,000 foot long pier would be built nearby. The railroad was completed in 1907, and for the next 50 years, phosphate would be shipped out of the state-of-the-art port virtually without interruption. Phosphate-laden trains were loaded directly on the ocean-going freighters from this dump house. In 1969, Port Boca Grande ranked as the busiest port in Florida, while Eastern Associated Terminals of Port Tampa was just beginning its decades-long, record-setting loading operations. But in the 1970s, phosphate companies switched their interest to ports in Tampa and Manatee. It was no longer cost effective to ship phosphate by rail to Boca Grande when it could be loaded at Tampa. The phosphate plant in Boca Grande was old and its tons per hour rate was slow. Therefore, it made it economic sense to discontinue the operation. 1979, the phosphate industry in Boca Grande came to an end. This is a transfer point. It transfers the phosphate from one conveyor to another runs behind the ship loader where it is again transferred to the loader and is continuously loaded aboard the vessel. This is the cable and drums that move the loading chute up and down. And this is a ship loader loading chute through which thousands of tons of phosphate poured through on its way to worldwide destinations. This is the ship loader on the loading dock. The ship would have been docked in front of it to the left. The loader was moved up and down the dock by these cables. One sat on one side of the ship loader, one sat on the other side. While one cable pulled, the other could act as a brake. This made loading faster because the ship itself did not have to be shifted. Ships like these, schooners, steamers, motor vessels, and barges, were loaded nonstop at Port Boca Green for 50 years. In the 1970s, phosphate companies switched their interest to ports in Tampa and Manatee, where phosphate-laden trains have rumbled to ever since then. Terminals like CSX Rockport, Eastern Associated Terminals have unloaded and loaded a few million tons of phosphate since the early 1970s. Eastern Terminals in Port Tampa overlooks the city of Tampa. At this terminal, in 1968, barges and ships began being loaded at record paces and sent on worldwide destinations. Record tonnages were loaded on huge ocean-going ships and barges. 
Eastern Terminals also loaded two of its own company barges, the Freeport 1 and the Freeport 2, for a total tonnage of 45,000 tons per week for 20 years. This is Eastern Associated Terminals in Port Tampa. It was built in 1968. Phosphate is brought to the terminal and trains from the mines in Pope County, an area called Bone Valley, because of the prehistoric bones found there. Eastern's loading rate on ships averages about 2,000 tons per hour. Eastern Associated Terminals sent many port records, turned around and broke them. These records will never be set or broken again. As more money was put into developing the ports in Tampa, traffic in the Port Boca Grande began to dwindle. And in 1979, the line was abandoned and the phosphate industry in Boca Grande came to an end. The rail line between Arcadia and Boca Grande was abandoned in 1981. The old lighthouses are still standing, as are the attendance houses and a small white chapel just off the beach. The only thing left of the old Boga Grand Terminal today 